The selection of a place to get away from it all and spend a relaxing holiday is perhaps as difficult in Australia as anywhere in the world. We have the choice of surf or snow, rugged mountains or vast sweeping plains. But certainly the majority of Australians head for places like Foster, a scenically attractive holiday resort on the lower north coast of New South Wales. One of the longest pre-stressed concrete bridges in the country links Foster with its twin town of Tuncurry. Foster is area headquarters for every kind of aquatic pastime all year round. Even in winter, the climate is mild and sunny with a water temperature around 68 degrees. Just over 200 miles from Sydney by road, the district has many links with the early days and the Pioneer Monument commemorates the arrival of the first settlers in 1862. Located on a peninsula, Foster has an extraordinary variety of scenic attractions. In contrast to golden beaches, the sightseer is fascinated by the rugged grandeur of the coastline. A visit to Bennett's Head is well rewarded, although the tourist finds that the locals are better equipped to negotiate the rocky surface. A colony of goats prefers to live in the comparative isolation the very nature of their surroundings provides. The youngsters are always the quickest to settle down to enjoy a holiday. An ideal place to revel in the thrills of rock surfing. Apart from the beautiful beaches on Foster's doorstep, it has an extensive frontage to Wallace Lake. 16 miles long and in places six miles wide, this calm expanse is a fisherman's paradise. Wallace Lake oysters are renowned for their flavor. Quite a handful and a real gourmet's delight. The harvest of the sea is one of Foster's principal industries and seldom does the fisherman, amateur or professional, return without a catch. Flathead, blackfish, whiting and brim abound. The small fry are protected by law. So back they go to grow and be caught another day. Foster and its Wallace Lake of Plenty, a place for leisure. <laughs>